Hello, my name is Mark Fassen. I'm the chair of KPMG's Global Topic Team on Corporate and Sustainability Reporting. And today I'm here to talk to you about the uh, ISSB's board meeting of September. And this was a very interesting one uh, because this was the first time that the board was discussing the feedback that they have received on their uh, exposure drafts. And the discussion in the board this time was, first of all, um, what are the key themes that are emerging from the feedback that we have received and what are the key topics that we need to take forward for our re-deliberation of these standards in order to, to finalize the standards. Uh, the other two topics on the agenda in this meeting were scalability, so how can we actually make it more practical for companies uh, in order to adopt those standards. And finally, also the collaboration with the sister board, the IASB, because there are a number of cross-cutting issues. So let me first get to the, uh, the, the main uh, topics for discussion in future meetings. So in, the board now decided that they would take on 14 topics, and I won't list them all, but uh, uh, maybe just give you a flavor of what's on the list. First of all, on the general requirements, um, they'll have a number of discussions on the scope and the breadth of reporting. Uh, many respondents raised the issue of where are the boundaries of the value chain. Um, how do I go about assessing materiality and, uh, and clarifying the materiality definition? Uh, but also the uh, enterprise value de 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 definition, uh, which obviously is crucial in the ISSB because everything is focused and related to enterprise value, is something that uh, respondents said needed further clarification. And finally, also the uh, exposure draft uh, used the requirement to disclose significant uh, sustainability risk and opportunities and questions were raised how the word significant actually relates to the materiality concept. So again, something that uh, is up for further discussion. For climate, I would just highlight uh, two topics that, that many respondents raised, and that is more clarification on scope three and how far you have to go uh, in the greenhouse gas emission scope three disclosures. And, uh, and also uh, a discussion on uh, transition and, uh, and scenario analysis. So this is on the topics and uh, uh, the full list you can find uh, in, uh, in some of the, uh, the, the, the materials that we have produced. Um, the second issue for discussion was, as I said, scalability. And that is about um, how do we make it practical for companies to adopt the standards. And the board actually made a decision that they would look at three different ways of dealing with scalability. And one would be to see whether they could actually give alternative disclosures or maybe exemptions to certain companies. Um, second is on whether they could give additional guidance. And uh, uh, the, the third issue is phasing in. So should we actually make a decision between basic disclosures and advanced disclosures and, uh, and, and maybe phase those in in, uh, in different uh, uh, times? Uh, there's also then an element of uh, uh, a decision to be made whether you know, a number of these uh, 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 scalability measures are either permanent or whether they should only be temporarily, only for the, uh, the introduction phase of the standards. And then finally, as I said, the uh, cooperation with the IASB, um, the three clear areas where there is uh, a need to cooperate. Um, one is on the climate-related uh, climate-related effects on the financial statements, uh, on management commentary, which provides the narrative on both financial statements and the sustainability reporting. And then finally, the whole area of intangibles, uh, very important. Uh, and the IASB has uh, taken ownership and taken a project on to revise IAS 38. All right, well, that's my summary of the ISSB's meeting uh, of September. Uh, I hope you found it useful. Uh, we will clearly uh, keep monitoring all these discussions. I think there's a lot of momentum uh, and the board wants to uh, take these on with speed, but on the other hand, also uh, ensuring that there is a good debate and, uh, and, and sufficient quality in the final product. Um, so we will keep monitoring so that you can prepare in your transition to these standards. For now, thank you very much for your attention and I, uh, I look forward to, to seeing you again at uh, one of my future videos. Bye-bye.